Hello, this video is about auto painting using automatic 1111 for stable diffusion. In this video, we'll explain how to do it uh, using image to image instead of control net. Control net will give us more control, which we'll explain in another, in another section or another video. In this section, we'll explain how it's done using image to image. For example, if we generate a portrait for, for a woman in a park, for example, the first thing we do is we use send it to image to image. So this is our, our photo. We do not want the face to be changed. We just want to extend uh, the image down to show more of the body and left and right to show, to show more of uh, the surroundings, such as a park. We go down to script, Portman's out painting. We maximize the pixels because we, want, we don't want to do too, too many repeats. Fill, we choose down because we want to extend the image down. The denoising level, we could play with this or, or, test, or test it to see which is better. Then we press generate. Now, we don't always get the result that we want from the first attempt, so we have to do multiple generations. If we look at this, okay, we see it's acceptable. It's not very acceptable because the picture might be a little bit different. So we do multiple attempts till we get a picture that we see uh, to be acceptable. Sometimes we can change uh, the prompt itself to get different pictures. Okay, so we see this, uh, this is more acceptable. Let's put it back here. Now, when we put it back here, we can work with this image now. And once again, we use extend again, because we want to show more, more of the body, a woman, Portrait for woman in a dress, in a dress, standing in a park, intricate details. Okay, now we, we, we get more of the dress. This is acceptable as well. So this is just a showcase. We put it back again, update. The settings looks acceptable. Then we want to extend it more. We don't need to put, for example, portrait anymore. That is okay as well. Okay, this looks more beautiful. Let's, uh, let's put it back here. Now we can start expanding the image left and right. So we go to the left, for example. What do we, what do we want to see in, to the left is actually the park itself. So a detail for a woman in a dress in a park. We can also remove anything related to the woman and just, and, uh, just say that we want something to, uh, related to a park, for example, just a park. So when we put a woman, we see that it gives us a woman in, in this area. This is why we just want a detailed park. A detailed park, that's it. A park. Okay, this looks good. This looks acceptable. We put it back here. It's always better to update, not obligatory. But now we can move to the right, for example. A park. We want more for the park. It will look a little bit on the big cells next to the section to create the, remain the, the remaining of the image. So, okay, this looks acceptable in general. Let's continue. Now, some of the details could be removed using the in-paint. The problem with the stable diffusion is that uh, using automatic 1111, it's really difficult to actually produce good results without using in-paint in general. So it's always very difficult to get results immediately. So this is one of the trickiest parts in the stable diffusion and automatic 1111 compared to mid-journey, for example. Mid-journey gives us, in general, better results. Automatic 11.11 and stable diffusion in automatic 11.11 is really good, but uh, it, requires a lot, it requires more work. We, we need more in painting. Okay, this one, we send this to in paint. Now in the in paint, we check this section which contains this strange line, which shows up here as well. Okay, 
there's a line here for example we can add something like this here okay now we would choose the whole picture whole picture is much better and we don't want to have a high noise for this section because we just want to smooth the lines okay so we generate uh, sorry we have to stop the script first because we don't want to expand anymore so we have to stop the script and start updating so this looks in general very acceptable it's more acceptable it looks like a woman inside a bark it's not extremely detailed because if we want more details we can work more on this picture um, okay this is it I think this is uh, suitable uh, we will explain uh, different methods using uh, image to image and using control net as well in another video or in another section have a good day